Virgos, welcome to my channel, by the Moonshot Tarot. Alright guys, so let's see what's going on for the first half of October 2019 for Sun, Moon, Rising, Virgos. And this could be dealing with you as well, cross watches. Anyways, here we go. First card out, Five of Pentacles. The Strength card. I was about to say Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo. Or have Leo in your chart. We have the Queen of Pentacles. You're dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups. And we have the Sun. I'm making sure that the Sun is not blocking the view of the, the cards. I have my phone on dim too, so I can save battery life. Bottom of the deck, the world. Yas, yas. That's what it, seriously, that's what I, yas, yas. <laughs> Virgo, you got a yes or no question, boo boos. You got a double yes, yeah? All right, so you be dealing with fixed sign, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo, right? So, what I see here, bottom of the deck, the overall energy, the rainbow, all right? Cycles are ending. Big lifestyle changes are about to happen. Did you get the lesson? Because if you did, you get the reward. If you didn't, guess what? You're doomed to repeat it. Saturn. All right, Saturn. All right, so this is about some of you guys could be getting communication via World Wide Web, via instant messenger, social media, stuff like that, emails, electronic uh, communication, okay? Others of you, this is like you've been on this dating site and it's like, you know, it's been working out pretty good. You, you've met a few interesting people, yeah? Others of you, this is about traveling. What? Virgo traveling? Yes, traveling. All right, you're going to go on a, a little vacay or a business trip, whatever it is. Traveling. You have travel on the brain. All right. Um, for others of you, you may be dating or you have an, uh, a person of interest and this person is foreign, foreign to you. Okay. So this person could be from a different country or a different cultural background, different religion. There's differences between you two. Well, it's like worlds apart but this is somebody in a sense that is like it's like a completion it's like you know it's not boring there there's so much to explore to adventure with this person okay mm, what else do I see with this what else do I see with this I think that's all I see with that. All right, so top row, five of pentacles, Lily, the strength card, queen of pentacles. All right, for some of you guys, all right, let me go financial. Since you're an earth sign, we're gonna go practical. Boom, we go practical, right? So, five of pentacles. Financially, you're like struggling. Like, you're, you're, you're lucky enough to even buy a loaf of bread. Alright? So, some of you guys are financially struggling. Or, the cross watcher, this could be you financially struggling. struggling. Alright? You're in need of something. In need of help. In need of assistance. In need of something. Because there's something lacking. Alright? In a relationship, there could be lack of communication. Oh, and what, that's what I was going to say with the world card. There's distance. There's distance between you two, right? So on your mind, you could be wanting to close the gap. So there could be no communication. You guys haven't talked to each other in a while. Or there could just be no contact at all. Like somebody's about to get ghosted, right? And we have the strength card. So... It's like you have the strength, you have the um, capability to overcome this, right? 
what do I mean by that? It's like, you know, if you're in this situation where they're not talking to you, whoever this person is, whatever this situation is, if you're not hearing anything, it's like you're needing to overcome this, um, this neediness. And you're, you're needing to get grounded is what I'm getting. It's like ground and center yourself, all right? Basically, it, it Virgo, because, you know, Virgo, the seventh house is what? Pisces, right? And underneath the, the um, strength card, we have the, the seven, I mean, the nine of cups. So this is about having that strength to overcome. Now, some of you guys could be having drinking problems right you like to you know you like to toss a few bottles you know a few bottles becomes a whole case case becomes whole 12 you know two three cases later and then we have a little problem right we have a little problem so you have that you have the strength to overcome this you have the strength to kick this addiction or this overindulgence out of your life all right you know, it's good to indulge, but not overindulge. It's like, you know, I, I, I can say that because I am somebody that deals with something like that. I have uh, an overindulgence of food when I'm emotionally not good or not in a good place. I take my aggression and my depression out on food. Basically, I, I turn into a porker. Um, but it's like, you know, knowing it first is a good sign. Admitting it is a good sign, all right? Not taking, you know, making plans, taking action, whatnot to overcome, all right? So, last was the Queen of Pentacles. So it's like you're grounding yourself. You're needing to ground yourself. Now, for others of you, this is like... You're dealing with somebody, you don't want to talk to them because they are overindulging. They are, like, could be alcohol abuse, could be drug abuse, something like that. And this person could be the earth sign, the other earth sign, or this person could be a mother to children. Because this is so much, to me, this is my Taurus card. It's like the mom parent card, right? Um... It's always giving in na nature, you know. M mom will show her food to her kids. Mom will not share her food with her, her strangers. Um, she will make some extra, but you're not taking from her plate. <laughs> that's that's how I see that card. All right. So that's how I'm seeing this. It's like you're needing, you know, like this. There's no communication between you two, and you know, if you're the one that imposed it, or if you're the one that started it or initiated it, you have the strength to to go through with it. All right. Um, if you're not the one that did it, then you have the strength just to ground yourself. Because what did I say? We ended with the yes. We ended with a positive card. You are going to be a, you are going to, um, be able to move forward. It's just there's somebody not letting go of something. And it's something that, it's like it needs to be let go of. What I mean. Alright, so let me show you what I see here. I'll try and do this, I guess, somewhat in the reversal. Okay, so I see these cards like this. Five of Pentacles, four of Pentacles. Somebody's being left out in the cold because somebody doesn't want to let go. Somebody could not want to let go of some type of strong feeling, some type of indulgence, some type of addiction, some type of, you know, um gluttonous behavior right gluttony can come in many forms all right but they have the strength to they have the strength to all right now for others of you other virgos you're not getting any communication all right and you're holding on to something or a cross watcher this could be totally you holding on to them but it's like you're needing to you know you have the strength to overcome this you have the strength to go towards what it is that you wish for right nine of cups getting what you wish for right cycles completing yes yes all right stop telling yourself no 
You got this. You don't need anybody to do this for you. You got this. All right? You got this. Why? Because you put in all that energy. You put in all that effort. You put in all the planning. You've done everything. You've crossed your T's. You dot your I's. You need to trust yourself. And what? Boom. Boom. Right? The sun will come out tomorrow. Everybody knows the sun's going to come out tomorrow. We don't stress about it. We don't hold on to the sun. What if the sun doesn't come out tomorrow? It's coming out tomorrow, boo, boo It's coming out tomorrow. All right? Trust. Yes. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. All right? Now, for some of you guys, this isn't even good to a job. All right? Because I see pentacles here. Pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. All right, so if you are in a situation where you are financially like strapped for cash, you've spent all your credit cards, you 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 have so much credit card debt, you're holding on to every dime penny that you have, so you can feed your family, feed what whoever, feed yourself. You have the strength to overcome this. All right, don't fret. You will get what it is that you what wished for, and then what? Boom, Kanani. Like Missy says from Saltwater Hills Tarot. I love watching her sometimes. Alright. Um, I don't I don't usually um, follow a lot of people. Because uh, I'm trying not to be influenced by you know other people's readings. Anyways. So what I'm seeing here is. You get to be the Queen of Pentacles. What does that mean? Financially you're going to be set. Boo boo. You're going to be set. You're going to this job. This job. This, this opportunity that you've been waiting for. Make it, make it rain, right? You're going to be, you're going to be good. You're going to be able to eat really good, sleep really good. Okay, so for right now, focus on getting what needs to get done, done. Grounding yourself, staying centered, all right? That is what I have for you, Virgos. I hope that this message resonated. If it did, you guys know what to do. If it did not, then please, please check downstairs below. Hit me up for a personal reading. My readings are discounted 50% off. The prices are already down there below with the discount already on. All right, so buy one, buy 10. We'll keep up with it. All right, and um, I will see you guys in two weeks. Namaste.